I'm glad you liked our play, Barney. Liked it? I loved it! Oh. <laughs> Barney, what's the very best kind of home? Oh, that's a good question. We've talked about lots of homes today. I know a brick home's better than one made of straw or sticks. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> and the ocean is a good home for a whale. And there were bird's nests and beehives and castles and cocoons. But I'm not sure which is the very best home. Well, I know. You do? Sure, the best home is any home with your family. Oh, I believe you're right. <laughs> Family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. They've got a cat and a dog and a pet bullfrog, and I'm really glad they do. Oh, a family is people and a family is love, that's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds, but mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. There's a girl I know who lives with her mom. Her dad lives far away. Although she sees her parents just one at a time, they both love her every day. Oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. The mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. <laughs> Gee, we've been talking about home so much that it's getting kind of late. We should be going to our own homes. <laughs> okay. See you, bye, Michael. We've learned about a lot of different homes today, but there's one thing that all homes need, and that's love. <laughs> With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? I love you, you love me We're best friends like friends should be with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? Well, I better be going. Okay. Bye, Barney. See you soon. So long. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We found out that there are lots of different homes in the world. A different kind of home for everyone and everything. Our animal friends live in some really neat homes. Ooh. 
And some of our animal friends live in the water, like fish, and whales, and snails, and one of my favorites, the octopus. <laughs> oh, and we can't forget our furry friend Zippity. He lives in a special home at school. And I really like the three little pigs play. Curly Tail built her house out of straw, but the big bad wolf blew it down. Ooh. And Twirly Tail built her house out of sticks, but the big bad wolf blew it down too. Ooh. Ooh. Then Swirly Tail worked hard to build her house out of bricks, and the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed, but couldn't blow it down. The brick house was too strong. Hooray for Swirly Tail! <laughs> you know, people live in lots of different kinds of homes, too. Some are big, and others are small. We learned that some people live where it's very cold, and they make their homes out of ice and snow. These homes are called igloos. But no matter where you live, remember that a home is a place to live in, to eat and sleep and be with the people you love and care about. Yes, that's a home to me. And remember, I love you. <laughs>